Have you seen this beautiful gold poster board at the Dollar Tree? Y'all, it is so luxurious. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back. To all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers, thank you all so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. So I don't know if you're getting a really good look at this, but y'all, this is some really rich looking gold poster board and I got it at the Dollar Tree. I've actually had about 10 sheets in my stash for about six or seven months. My oldest daughter asked me if I seen it. I said, no. And she said, well, I think you'll like it. And I did, but I haven't used it. Well, let me show you something. This is a Christmas gift that I'm giving. And as I'm looking on here, it says it's good for big old swigs. And I think that my daughter, my youngest daughter, is getting this. She won't know she's getting it by watching my videos because you know what? She really doesn't watch my videos. So I can show you this knowing that she won't see it before Christmas day, but it really is big. And I wanted something really nice to put it in. And there are a lot of ways that I can make a holder for this, but I wanted it to be really special and that's when I remembered my gold poster board. It is just so pretty. And I can't wait to craft with it because I think you're going to like what we do. But let me show you what I did with it. So what I did was I took the poster board and I turned it into a box. I barely cut any of it away. And this gold is really shiny on my camera and I apologize for that, but it really is a beautiful box. And I want you guys to see how easy it is to take a piece of poster board and turn it into a box. Now you're saying, how can you do that if you can't score? Well, I'm going to show you how to get your folds in this box without a scoreboard. We're going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm going to take my gift and put it back in the box. So here is my box. You can see that I have tissue paper on the inside. I have my gift in like this, then I am just going to tuck in these sides. This is a very big box. It's about 10 and three quarters by six and a half by six and a half. So you can get a lot in here. I can even imagine this being dolled up and turned into like a treasure chest for a little boy's Christmas gift or a little boy's birthday. But just think about those poster boards that you see at the Dollar Tree. They don't have to be gold but I'm using gold for this project, but they have so many colors that you can use this technique for so many different things. I'm going to flip this over. I'm not going to remove my tag. I'm just going to leave it. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one end of this and I'm going to match it there so then I am just going to bring it down just a little bit. And then what I hope to end up with are matching ends. And that's pretty close. So now I'm going to take my big old spatula and just smooth out. So we have this piece here. This will be the piece that folds over the top of the box. So now we're going to take this end and bring it over to this end. and you want to fold it, trying to get it as even as possible. Of course we know that this won't be perfect because it is handcrafted and we're really not doing any measuring. I'm going to take one of my clips just to hold that in place because this is kind of slick. And now I can take my big old spatula again and go ahead and get it like this. So now I'm going to open it. We're going to take this in and just fold it over to the middle like this. And you just want the ends and you want to make sure that the top and the bottom 
are pretty even. So now it'll look like this. You can see the score here, the score here, and the end flap here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this in and we fold it over to meet the middle flap. Like this. All right, so now you'll have four fairly even sections to the box, and then you'll have this fold over flap. So now what we're going to do, again, no measuring, is we're going to take this piece and fold up. Now, if you need to measure, it's okay if you need to measure. Measure. And I'll come back with my big old spatula and smooth everything out. But all I'm doing is creating my side panels to the box. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to do the same thing again. So really, one side might be larger than the other side. That's going to be okay. So I'm just going to take this and fold it. And y'all can see that we didn't do any measuring, but now we do have a box that we can put together. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to remove this corner piece and this corner piece from that flap. So I can go ahead and just angle in here. And then I'll cut this piece out. And I'll cut this piece out. And then I can angle in right here. So this is what we have so far. So y'all, I'm just going to take my picture and picture out because I need to be able to show you what I'm doing with this laying down on the desk. Seeing it frontal view won't really matter for this particular project. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to each score mark and cut straight down just to free the score marks on both sides. Then we're going to angle in here. And we'll angle in here. So what you're doing is, at the end of the box, you're going to angle, no angle, angle, and then we angle in here. So this is how both sides of your box is going to look. Now I'm going to turn this over. Don't pay any attention to the madness on this side, y'all, because I kind of messed up. But I'm just going to fix it so that I will have a working box. But, but here is what you want to do. You want to cut straight down on each one of your panels first. Then here at the bottom, this is the bottom because this is our fold over flap. You want to angle, leave that next panel whole, angle, and then angle. So now we're ready to put it together. And to put it together, I'm going to use glue. So we're going to take this side and then this panel. We bring it up and join it. And then we're going to join this one. And your side will look like that. So try not to make too much noise, but I can't help it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my glue on this piece like this. Then I'm going to take this piece and bring it up, making sure that when I go on the inside, I am bringing that piece to the corner like that. That's how we're going to make sure that our box is nice and squared. Then I'm going to take some glue and I'll put a little bit of glue right here. And then I'm going to put glue right here. Now I'll be able to take this piece and fold it over and shape my box like that. Now I can pick it up 
And y'all, what I'm doing is I'm going on the inside and I am getting everything nice and stuck. And then we do the same thing on this side. So we take that middle piece and join it to the back piece with glue. And I'm using glue because this is a large box that I would expect to carry some weight. So I'm just going to slide that back. Then I'm going to place my glue on this piece. We can fold over and get that nice and stuck. Then I'm going to go on the inside and just work my stick because I don't want my beautiful box coming undone. And so now you can take this and fold it on the inside, but if you're encountering any resistance, just take your scissors and reduce that in size. And then once you've reduced it in size, go ahead and angle that front end. Now I should be able to take this and put it inside the box like that. And y'all, we have another beautiful box. So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm not going to round the ends. I am just going to angle the ends just a little bit. And then I'll take my bone folder and just go along and burnish where it might be just a little bit rough to pretty everything up. Then to keep the box closed, I am going to do this with a Velcro dot. And I'm going to take that Velcro dot and put it right there on the inside. Peel away. Let's fold over. And get it stuck. And you can see how the front of the box looks. You can see how the side looks. Everything looks very, very good. And you can take this process and you can tweak it to fit the size box that you might need. You might want to take the whole sheet and cut it in half and make two boxes. Whatever it is you want to do, I think that you will enjoy the process. So the last thing that I'm going to do, to do is I'm going to add a little embellishment to this. And I have the sticker that I'm going to place right there. This is also a sticker, but I'm going to leave the bottom half on because I don't want it sticking to the box. And then I am going to add some extra tape to this just to make sure that I have a good hold on this. And we're going to take this and put it right there. Y'all, luxury boxes just don't get any better than this. And so now I have two luxury boxes, one holding the insulated cup and in this one, I will be placing an electric tea kettle that my youngest daughter also wanted. So these two will be under my tree just for her. So I hope that you can get your hands on some of that gold poster board, whether it's from the Dollar Tree or somewhere else. The gold is just exquisite. And look at these beautiful boxes. So I hope that you've enjoyed the process for taking a piece of poster board and making a large box. If you have enjoyed this video, and y'all, I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family because I'll be right here waiting on you. As always, my friends, y'all, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.